Hey there, I am Dr. Bree, and welcome to a quick, quick workout. We're gonna get right to it. So, as always, put on your favorite energizing essential oil blend if you're an essential oil user, and check the video notes video description for anything that might be pertinent that you might see on this video that you wanna check out, like this ginormous exercise mat. It's amazing. So let's get right into this quick, quick workout. We are gonna start actually lying on our back and you don't need any equipment for this routine. It's gonna be really simple and to the point. Inhaling deeply on that <laughs> essential oil, it smells so good. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is lie on your back and we are going to fire up the core. So bring your knees apart and then as you exhale, bring the knees together and feel the deep core, the deep pelvic floor, and deep abdominals start to kind of wake up. So inhale, let everything drop apart, and then exhale, lift that pelvic floor, pull the belly button in toward the spine. It's that zipping up feeling. And you'll also feel your low back press into the floor a little bit. So let's go faster. You're gonna breathe in, exhale. You can breathe in and out through your nose, or you can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. In this situation, we're not trying to calm the body down so much. We're actually trying to center ourselves and also energize a bit. So in this case, breathing through the mouth can be really helpful. So I'm gonna breathe in through my nose and then out through my mouth. Two more. Last one. Okay, now keep that engaged position. Pelvic floor is gently lifted. Low abs are gently pulled in. You're nice and taut through the low abs. Now bring one leg up and then the other on an exhale. Strong through that core. Make sure that you're 90 degrees at your knees and also 90 degrees at your hips. If you find that your knees are in, bring them forward so that your knees are right over your hips. If they're in, it's gonna to be too easy. So bring them forward. Now for this next move, we're just gonna tap one foot down and then the other, keeping the abs pulled in and your pelvic floor lifted the whole time. Don't let your low back arch off the floor like this. Don't let this happen. We're keeping our low belly pulled in, our pelvic floor lifted, and we're breathing. I like to focus really on the exhales. I like to exhale as I'm lifting my leg back up. Now, if this is too much to do this full drop of your toes to the floor, then you can just drop them a little bit, or you can even drop them to the seat of a chair, or even touch a wall in front of you with your toes. So play with this, but I'm gonna keep going with the full move. So remember to keep breathing. Keep the low belly pulled in. If you feel any strain in your low back at all, that means probably that your back is arching off the floor and that you are not holding your core strong enough. So you wanna lift your pelvic floor a little bit more. You wanna pull in your deep abs a little bit more and keep going just a few more reps. Keep breathing. Remember, you can use those alternatives of toes down toward the, chair, the seat of a chair or onto a wall in front of you. Let's do one more each side. Last one here. Okay, now straighten the legs. Circle your legs apart from one another. So my legs are going out and back in, out and back in. So out and back in. Same thing as before, keep the low belly pulled in. Keep the pelvic floor gently engaged. It's like you're zipping up, pelvic floor first. Pelvic floor first and then your low abs. Keep breathing. Keep your ribs pulled in. You don't want them popping up toward the ceiling. Keep your low back close to the ground. You don't want it popping up away from the ground. Take it nice and slow. You should really feel this. If you want more work, you can lift your arms up off the ground or even behind your head. 
but that is going to make it quite a bit more challenging to keep your core stable and to keep your low back close to the floor. So I'm going to keep my hands on the ground. Reverse your circles. So now I'm coming up and in toward each other. Down, out, and in toward each other. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. This is gonna be a total core workout, by the way. So right now we're really feeling it in our hip flexors and our abs. Soon we're gonna feel it in our butt. Let's do three more. Three, two, keep breathing. Last one. Okay, Whew. pull those knees into the chest, feet down. Cross one foot over the other. So right ankle is on the left thigh and lift your pelvic floor, pull in your low abs and lift your bottom off the floor. Pulse it up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it, legs straight up to the sky. You can bend the knee if you have tight hamstrings or straight. Pulse it up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch, keep the bum lifted. Switch so the left ankle is on top of the right thigh and pulse it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feel it right there. And then straighten that left leg and pulse it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very nice. All right. Hold on behind your thighs and just take a little bit to get some momentum up and on an exhale We're gonna rock up so Rock up and now we come into a deep squat For this deep squat you can be sitting on a yoga block or a cushion You can also be tipped forward like this if you need to okay so I'm gonna go into the full position, but whatever you're doing, keep your spine long and don't let this roundiness happen because that's bad for your pelvic floor. So lift it through the spine, whether you have to be forward or if you can stay in the full position, hold it here, lifting up, don't sink down. We wanna lift up. This is the move right here. Now to make it go even more, a little bit farther, lift one arm up and down. Other arm up and down, starting to bring in the back and down and up and down, feeling it in all of your hips, all of your core, all of your back. One more each side, breathe steadily. And here we go on to hands and knees. So on the hands and knees, circle out your bum. Go the other way with your bum. And now inhale and exhale, cat spine. Pull the belly button in toward the spine. Inhale, cow. And exhale, arch your low back, pull your belly button up toward your spine. Hold it here. And in this position, this rounded cat, Halloween cat position, really holding the belly button toward the spine. I want you to straight up lift your left arm off the floor about an inch or two. Feel it in your abs, especially the right side of your abs, your obliques, and then set it down. Keep breathing, but yet keep that Halloween cat position. Now right arm lifts up off the floor just an inch or two. Feel it in your core, feel it in your obliques, and then set it down. Release, let go of your back, let everything wiggle around. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Pelvic floor lifts, belly button pulls in toward the spine. Now lift that left arm off the ground, holding that cat spine, rounded spine position, and circle like you're waxing on. Wax on, wax off, right? Keep going, circling above the ground. I'm not touching the ground with this hand. And then go the other way. Keep breathing, keep your core strong and pulled in, but keep your breath flowing. And then set it down. Other side, lift off the floor and wax on. Oh, eight to 10 times one direction. Keep that rounded spine, keep the pelvic floor lifted, 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 
belly button pulled in, reverse directions with your circles of your hands, you're hovering off the floor, keep the breath flowing, and then set it down. Oh. Wiggle out the bum. Let it be loose and free, whatever you wanna do. Maybe do a big circle around, and then go the other way. And then come to a neutral spine. So, you're not arched, and you're not rounded, if you want, you can go through those two extremes one time and then find the middle where your spine is, your, your back is flat like a tabletop. Now lift your belly button toward your spine, hold it nice and strong without tucking your tailbone under, none of this. So you're strong through the core, flat back. You could set a glass of wine on it or a cup of tea and you'd be fine. Left leg behind you, right arm in front of you. So opposite arm and leg, core is strong. Now carefully touch your toe toward your hand. So it's opposite toes toward hand. So strong through the core, lifted through the pelvic floor and belly and forward. If you can't touch it, that's okay. You'll get there over time, just keep practicing. Two more, nice and slow, keep breathing. Last one. You should feel this everywhere. And other side, no rest for the weary. We go right back, right leg back, left arm forward, strong through the core and touch hands to opposite foot. Inhale and then exhale. Keep breathing. Take it slow and controlled. Two more. Belly strong, lifted toward the spine. Last one. And we come on back to the middle. Circle out your bum. On your next exhale, sit back into the quickest little child's pose. Stretch your arms out in front of you. And we have one more intensive move. Come onto your elbow. You can mirror me. This for me is my right elbow. Now my right leg is actually behind my left. This is my left leg. It's in front, my right leg is behind. So I come up onto my right elbow. You can see how this is. This is my right elbow. This is my right leg. It's behind my left leg. My whole body is tipped just a little bit. It's kind of rotated just the tiniest bit toward the camera right now. Hand behind my head. Strong through the core, pelvic floor lifted, belly strong, and we go toward the knee and back. So keep going. Breathe with this. Elbow is right under the shoulder. This is incredibly intense. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And come down. Now just a quick flip onto the other side. It's nice and smooth. Left elbow is under the left shoulder. Left foot is behind the right leg. And we come up. So lift the pelvic floor, pull belly button into spine. I'm tipped forward toward my wall just a little tiny bit. So I'm not back at all. I'm tipped forward just a little tiny bit. And now, elbow to knee. Let's do five more. Five. Four, belly is strong. Three, two, last one. And come on down. Oh, come on back up into hands and knees. Quick little child's pose. Release the back. Come up onto your knees into a quick little modified camel stretch. So bring the arms behind you, lean back, and then lift your pelvis up off your heels, lifting toward the sky, 
stretching out the entire front side of the body and then come on down one more time inhale lift and down if you have time for one more stretch I would recommend a twist so I'm gonna have you follow me here right arm can, leg can either be forward or crossed under you left leg crosses around it so like this or like this now lift your right arm up and then on an exhale twist maybe just hug around that left knee and look over your left shoulder try to keep both sitting bones down on the floor twists are a really great way to relieve any tension or tightness you might have in your back one more breath now look forward and release the twist take a tiny minute to windshield wiper out your legs between the two sides and now left leg is either straight in front of you with the right leg over it or that left leg is also bent sitting bones on the ground your left your left arm is straight up toward the ceiling and then you twist, hug around that right bent knee, twisting and looking over your right shoulder. One more deep. One more deep inhale and exhale now look forward and release your arms and windshield wiper out your legs I hope you enjoyed that quick ab workout it really was not just the abs it was everything the whole core a great way to kind of finish off some other exercise session maybe to do after a walk or if you're a runner you could do it after a jog um, or any of my other high low impact cardio videos or anything like that it's just a great way to kind of round out your routine so thank you for watching like I said check the video notes for links and descriptions and information that you might find interesting and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I have new videos with workouts and information coming out every week so I hope you'll continue to join me and tell a friend about this channel Fem Fusion Fitness we have a lot of fun over here as always remember eat clean move every day and you will shine brighter I will see you next time bye